You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports supporters, this is how it's going to have to be done. It's going to take brave women pushing back from the table, making a stand, boycotting on the spot, making an example out of these biological men that are entering competition against women, taking a stand, a bold move, one, to bring a lot of attention to the issue, and two, to just flat make a mockery of the organizations that allow this to happen. But we have a very brave woman, an Irish pool champion that has walked away right in a tournament, boycotting a tournament as opposed to having to play against a transgender woman, a.k.a. a biological man. Let's get to this. This is Breitbart. I, bravo to this lady. Uh, because this is what is what's going to have to be done. Women are going to have to make the uncomfortable decision very publicly to boycott these events or just show up and then walk out in order to send a clear message that women are not going to put up with this crap any longer. Irish pool champion Kim O'Brien has pulled out of the European pool championships after officials allowed a man to compete in the women's category. The European Pocket Billard Federation has opened its female categories to men who say they are transgender women, and this year the organization approved the participation of Harriet Hayes, who says he, quote, transitioned to a female in 2014 at the age of 23, according to the Irish Post. O'Brien has been playing pool for around a quarter of a century and became a member of Team England in 1992. She then joined the Irish team in 1997 and currently holds the top ranking. She also has a record of championships behind her. She has been the Suffolk champion multiple times and is a five-time Irish champion and won the European champion title in 2001 and 2010, so this woman is very accomplished. She is the only the second woman to have won that title twice. But pro sports activist Riley Gaines put Harriet Hayes in the spotlight last month and decried the EPBF for allowing Hayes to compete as a woman. Gaines said she would pay O'Brien not to play against a man for the championships. Let's take a look at this. She's about to take a shot, and instead, she says no. I love it. (laughs) For all the women out there, well done, Finn. For all the women out there, Well done. Well done indeed. This is what Riley Gaines said at the European Pool Championships. Female player Kim O'Brien forfeited the women's final where she was set to play male player Harriet Hayes. I I am happily paying her prize money. She lost out on. Stop playing their game. More of this. Several other activists, including Babylon Bee CEO, Seth Dillon also stepped up and pledged to match, I assume, Gaines' donation to O'Brien if the pool champ refuses to compete against Hayes. Now, when the championship kicked off on February 29, O'Brien abruptly announced she was not going to play against Hayes. Haynes. Gaines was jubilant at the decision. Quote, at this point, it's the women's category, not a costume party, she wrote on February 29. It's about transparency. If it was advertised as co-ed, then that's a different story. But that's not what this was. Why have a women's category if anyone can compete in it? Women's opportunities are for women only. Amen. That is absolutely 
the right answer. Wow. Wow. That's pretty uh that's pretty brave and stunning, believe it or not. We're actually flipping that flipping that phrase around for the good guys this time. But that is pretty brave and stunning. That is what it's going to take on a stage this big at the championships in the finals. She leans down, gets ready to shoot, raises up, walks over, and shakes the fella's hand. Notice I said fella's hand. Yeah, I meant to say that. That wasn't a mistake. I didn't have an issue with what I was going to say. This is going to have to make its way through all of these sports in which these biological males continue to invade. And let's be real. They're invading these sports because they want the physical advantage over these women. Most of them are either crappy to mediocre at best against other men, and they know they can come in, dominate females. I'm still trying to figure out what sickness you've got that that makes you get any sort of pride in a victory over a woman when you're a biological male. I would be ashamed at even the thought of going out there because I had a physical advantage over a woman. And I'm sorry, but I believe that's exactly what it's about. It's about domination of a particular sport that a person is just not very good at against their own gender. Now, we know the the leftist propagandists, the media celebrate these people. That's also part of the problem. But it's going to take a very bold move, an uncomfortable move, to step up and make a decision like Kim O'Brien did here and send a clear statement. We're not going to compete against these people any longer. The organizations made a joke out of the sport. They made a joke out of their tournament. And if you end up winning somehow, some way, what credibility does the organization have? And how does that give you any sense of pride yourself in, in taking a victory out of it. And we've also been vocal about the fact that, you know, in certain sports like MMA, well, you got a safety issue there too. Somebody's going to get hurt or worse. Ivan Drago, Apollo Creed, Rocky Four. I keep using that as an example. But these women have to refuse to compete against these biological men. Bravo to Riley Gaines and anybody else, Seth Dillon, that stepped up on behalf to pay this 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 lady's lost uh, compensation she would have got for winning this tournament. That's good looking out. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.